So, net neutrality. That's where we are now, huh? Completely lost it, and the FCC just gave a big fuck you to the entire American people. And all the effort that was put into trying to resist it has been all for naught. And also, I, I think we should really give a big thanks to the people who voted for Donald Trump. But that's been a big help in having this happen. No, he didn't say that he was going to have it happen, but this is under his presidency, under the people that he appointed. But here's something, uh, this, this is something I, re I really like. Since this has taken place, I have seen a lot of first worldists on Facebook running around saying, oh, that's it. This is, this is going to be the time, this is the masses of American people are going to be angry. And this is where they're going to stand up and do something about the situation that they're in right now. Uh, that's ridiculous. And I'm hearing a lot of them complain that, oh, now it's going to be really slow for me to go to YouTube and watch a video. It's going to be, it, my, you know, my CSGO is going to have a really high ping rate or it's going to take me forever to Google something now. And this is the line that's infuriated them. This is the line where they say that something is going to happen. The American people are going to get together over this and rise up. Think about that. Even under net neutrality, they're going to have an internet that's like three or four times better than what's in the third world. So having a better internet than what's in the third world will be the catalyst for revolution. Think about that. You know, give us no health care, take, you know, close the borders, destroy people's jobs, and send the whole economy into the situation it's in. That's not going to be the, 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 the tipping point. But a slow ping rate on online games is going to be the tipping point that's going to drive the masses of first world people into revolution. Frankly, that's really goddamn ridiculous. And another example of the... Uh, the face of first worldism. I don't think this is going to stay. Net neutrality is going to be restored. I think there's going to be a very large uh, bourgeois legal movement against it. Um, even the ACLU said that they were going to step up and they were going to be a part of a struggle to return a neutrality of the internet back to the people. So I, I, I really don't think that this is even going to stay. But to even think that something that's part of the regular bourgeois legal apparatus is something that first world people can t consider to be a revolutionary struggle. Like even the, f the fight for 15, the Democrats are already on that. And there's so many uh, regular mainstream bourgeois politicians that already support a minimum wage. Even bourgeois economists support a $15 minimum wage, but they think it's somehow revolutionary to fight for it. The same thing that the system is fighting for. And that's, that's one of the point as third worldists that we make. Their so-called revolutionary acts are really nothing more than concessions from, from the capitalist class. And f the fight for 15 is a pretty good example of that. And even the coming struggle against the abolishment of the neutrality of the internet is going to be a big struggle. And it's going to be something that the bourgeois legal apparatus is going to stand behind. It's my hope that the abolishment of net neutrality isn't going to be something that's going to affect me too much. I do visit a lot of American websites, and when the American internet slows down and gives preferential treatment to one website or another, that's going to affect me as well. And I didn't even get a say. It's not even my country. So, here's to hoping that for however long this abolishment of net neutrality is around, it's not going to hurt us too much. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, yes, the ice dildo is in the process of rebuilding itself. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.